So we've done great things so far, but one of the big questions that we always get is, well, this is cool, but am I really going to have to do a lot of copying and pasting? Maybe I want my robot to go around a book or a square or something like that. One of our one of our challenges we normally do is called Robo 500, and it's a way of having a robot go around a square, a textbook or something like that. Uh, and so inside of Robot C, what we've done is we've added a new command called repeat. And basically, you can create a block of code and specify you know, a, a chunk of code to repeat either a fixed number of times, or you can have it repeat forever. So if you had something that you wanted just, you know, the robot to continuously do something, you could have it go through and repeat forever. Now, forever does not mean that the robot's going to keep running until its battery dies. It's just until you hit the X button or hit, the, you know, the stop button on the debugger, you can uh, let the, the program will run until you manually stop it. So with the repeat block, what we have to do is we have to use a set of curly braces in order to define the beginning and end of what the code we want to repeat. So let's take a look at back at robot C here. And we're going to switch over to my desktop. So we've got our, our program here right now, and we've got our set robot type, we've got our forward right now. But let's say we want to go around a, a square. We might have our robot move forward and then make a right turn. And move forward and make a right turn, move forward, make a right turn. So let's go ahead and just try. And normally what we would have to do is we'll go, we'll go through here and we could take this block of code and then we would have to copy and paste it a bunch of times in order to have our robot go through and make that sort of full lap around the square since the square has four corners and it would make four turns. What we can do with the repeat is that we can get rid of this code here and we can now add a repeat to our program. Now you can type out repeat and remember the curly braces and all of that stuff, or you can go over to our functions library under control structures and under natural language, we have an option here for repeat. And we'll take the repeat number of times and we're gonna go ahead and drop this in. And you can see now what it does is it builds our code for us. So now it's going to say repeat number of times, and where it says body is where we would put our code. So let's go ahead and just get rid of the word body. And now we're just going to take these two lines of code, and we can click and drag inside of the repeat block. And you'll notice that as we start going through our program, and once we start adding in these loops and different control structures, your program starts getting a little messy in terms of indentation, and it can be hard to track all of the different curly braces that you have. So one of the cool features that we have in Robot C is the magic wand. So up here at the top, you can click on the magic wand, and it will go through, and it will reinvent and sort of clean up your code so that everything's nice and lined up. So then you don't really have to worry about a, oh, I need to go through and indent and tab and space, all this stuff. Just hit the magic wand, and it will take care of everything in your program for you automatically. So we put our repeat block in, and it added these two curly braces, which define the beginning and end of our repeat block. And then here, where it says repeat number of times, all that we have to do is replace this with the number of times that we want this code to repeat. So since we're going around the square, we'll put in the number four, and that's now going to make our robot repeat this code four times. So it's going to do forward, turn right, and then go back up to the top, and do forward, turn right, and continue doing that over and over again. So we'll go ahead and download that. We'll switch over to our presentation machine. So let's go ahead and have our program start running. We'll go ahead and pull the USB cable. We're gonna go ahead and hit the start button. And now our robot's gonna move forward. Now it's gonna make a turn. Now it's gonna move forward. Now it's going to make a turn, forward, make a turn, forward, make a final turn, and there we go. We end up approximately where we began, and we've successfully gone around our maze in order to take a look at and have our robot complete its program by using the repeat command.